Uh, this question number one, define the pressure. So pressure is the force exerted per unit area. Force exerted per unit area is called pressure. State the unit of pressure. We have to state no derivation. So it is kilogram meter power minus one and second power minus two. The pressure P at the depth H in an incompressible fluid of the density rho is given by rho is equal to uh, pressure is equal to rho gh, where g is acceleration of the free fall. Use the base unit to check the homogeneity of the equation. Look, the unit of the pressure we have written here. Now we have to show that this side has same unit. Rho gh density is measured in kilogram per meter cube. G, acceleration due to gravity, so meter per second square. And this is the depth H. So this meter and this meter, it becomes meter square. When meter square cancelled, so one remaining here. So it is kilogram divided by meter divided by second square, which can be written as kilogram meter power minus one, second power minus two. So look. Both units are same, hence the equation is homogeneous. Okay, next question is <clears throat> define acceleration. So we have to write here rate of change of velocity. is called acceleration. Or we can write change of velocity per unit time is called acceleration. Now the next part is use the definition to explain whether the stone is accelerating. Look at the question. A stone on the string is made to travel along the horizontal circular path. The stone has constant speed. Speed is constant, but look, the direction of the motion is changing. Velocity is a vector. So we will write, velocity is a vector. In this case, it is changing. due to change of direction. Thus, acceleration is there, acceleration is produced. So velocity is a vector. In this case, it's changing due to change of the direction, thus acceleration is there. Speed is constant, but the velocity has magnitude as well as direction. So due to change of direction in the circular motion, velocity is changing and the change of velocity causing the acceleration. Next question is, the stone has a weight of five Newton. When the string makes an angle of 35 degree to the horizontal, the tension of the string is 6.1. Determine the resultant force acting on the stone in the position shown. Resultant force is required. So we have to add these two forces. For example, this is your weight five Newton and it's making this 6.1 Newton is making 35 degree angle. So this is 6.1 Newton. This angle is 35. So definitely this will be the resultant. 
Now, either by drawing or by calculation, the formula is A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC into cos theta. So look, this is A, this is B, and this is C. So A is required. So we will write here, B is suppose five so square. This is 6.1 square minus two into five into 6.1 and the cause of 35 degree. Okay. So when this is calculated, the square, A square is 12.24, and then square root is taken. So the resultant is 3.5 Newton. This is the answer for this part. You can also use the vector drawing method. Now the next, direction of the force. We have to calculate the direction, the direction of this. So we will calculate this angle. We will determine this angle. Okay, look, in this question, <clears throat> weight is acting in this direction. And the tension in this direction, the object is moving in the direction in this circular motion. So the resultant force is the force which is keeping the object in the circular motion. So we will write the direction of the force towards the center of the circle because it's a centripetal force. So the direction of the force is towards the center of the circle. Now the next, the question is, a trolley of the mass, 930 gram is held on a horizontal surface by means of the two springs as shown in the figure 4.1. The variation with time t of the speed of the trolley for the first 0.6 seconds of the motion is shown. This is the graph, velocity time graph. Use the figure 4.2 to determine the initial acceleration of the trolley. So for the initial acceleration, we have to draw here the tension. So suppose this is a straight line. We assume this is a straight line, this one. Now, the time taken for this portion is 0 0.05 and this is two. So the acceleration I mean the gradient of this line change in velocity divided by time so it is 2 divided by 0 0.05 so the answer is 0. Point, uh, it is approximately 40 and the unit centimeters per second square. But when we have to write in meters, definitely we will divide it by 100. So it becomes 0 0.40. So the acceleration is 0 0.40 meter per second square. So the gradient of this line is the acceleration. Next is the distance move during the first 0.6 seconds of the motion. So we have to calculate the area under the graph. For this, we will divide this whole figure into different portion. For example, we draw here a line. this line first.
And then we will place this scale here. This one. Now, this is a triangle. Now the area of this triangle is equal to one by two base into height. So one by two, the base is 0 0.6 and the vertical height is eight. So 0 0.6 times four. So this is 2.4 centimeter. Then we have to count the number of the boxes, both sides of this line. So number of the boxes, because this area required, this area is also required. Okay, uh, I, counted the, I counted these boxes and these are approximately 165. So 165 this side, so 165 this side. So the area of these boxes still required. So look at this first box, this one, this square. It has area two times 0.1, I mean it is 0.2. And these small boxes are 100. So we will write for 100 small boxes, the area is 0.2 and for these boxes, 165, 165, 330. So the total area for the 330 boxes, it will be 0 0.2 divided by 100 times 330. So the answer will be 0.66 centimeter. Now the total area, the area of the triangle is 2.4 and plus the area of these two remaining sides 0.66. So the answer is 3.06, 3.06 centimeter, which can be written in meters because the distance in meter. So it is 0 0.0306. So we will write answer 0 0.31 meter. Now the next is use the answer to determine the resultant force acting on the trolley at time zero. So the formula F is equal to MA. Now the force, the product of mass and acceleration. So mass of the trolley is given here. 930 and acceleration you have calculated this 0 0.40 so 930 divided by 1000 times acceleration 0 0.40 or 0 0.41 because this was a curve so it can be 0 0.41 now the answer is after the multiplication it is 0 0.38, 0 0.39. So approximately the answer is 0 0.39 or 38, so this answer. Next, describe qualitatively the variation with time t of the resultant force acting on the trolley during the first 0.6 second. So look, resultant force F is equal to MA, mass will remain same. So force depends on the acceleration and the acceleration is the gradient. So look at the gradient. Initially, the gradient is maximum. It's gradually decreasing. And at this point, 0.3, it becomes zero. And then it increases in the opposite direction. So we will write resultant force initially maximum. It decreases. And at 0.3 second, it becomes zero. Then it increases 
in the opposite direction because the gradient is negative. So opposite direction and at 0.6 second, the force is again 